hi guys it's Vanessa and I have a big bag of scent oils that I'm going to go through and I'm gonna do it like I always do I'm gonna smell it I'm gonna tell you what I think it smells like and then I'm gonna look at what it is so the first three that I am going to tell you about though are um, are three that I know that I like and so I ordered one pound bottles of them so Cozy Cabin um, by Aztec Candle Supply. This smells just like fresh cut wood. So um, I'm gonna use this um, in one of my candles and it's just a very nice scent. Um, it really just reminds me of somebody cutting through wood with a chainsaw. A Little bit of cedar in it. Um, Ocean Mist, I am using this um, in a blend that I created for a candle that is going to represent a family vacation I took um, last summer. Ocean scents are very ozone-y and I'm not into that, but this is just a very nice um, marine smell without being ozone-y. And then, um, of course, leaves from Bath & Body Works. It doesn't smell exactly like that, but I do like it. And um, I'm gonna work this in somehow. I think I'm gonna add a um, birch wooden pine oil to this to make my own blend. Okay, so I don't know how many we have. I'm not gonna count, but anyways. So here we go. And I have to go to work in like 45 minutes. So I, not that this is gonna take 45 minutes, but I have stuff to do before I go. Okay. This might be a grapefruity kind of thing. And I don't know if you've watched my other videos, but the reason that I do it this way is because if you look at the scent name of something, let's say you, I'm trying to think of one that I got recently. Oh, I got a buttercream. Um, it was supposed to be a buttercream scented oil. And if I had looked at the label and, and was like, oh, this smells like buttercream, and then I smell it, your mind is already kind of preconceiving the fact that it smells like buttercream. And so that was just one example of one that I smelled and it doesn't didn't smell anything like buttercream. So I'm doing this because I want to judge for myself what the scent notes are. Do I like it? You know, um, because you also don't have to get wrapped up in um, the name of a scent is the name of the candle that you have to, uh, you know, use it in. Or like I got um, Beechwood. It doesn't smell like the beach. It smells like, it didn't smell anything like the ocean. It smelled like pine trees. And in looking at the fragrance notes, pine was one of the first fragrance notes. And so that's not a beach, that's not an ocean scent. And so just because it says beech wood on it does not mean that that's what it smells like. So judge for yourself what you think the scent smells like and whether or not you like it and then use it, you know, if it's something that speaks to you. So this smells like something familiar to me but it has grapefruit in it. Okay, Woodland Citrus. So this is a nice one. This was maybe a sample that I got. I don't remember picking that as, maybe I did. Okay. Okay, this is a definitely a fall winter scent. There's a lot of cinnamon. And it smells like tequila actually. Okay, this is pumpkin spice. So now that I know that, I'm gonna smell it again and watch, it'll smell different. Yeah, I can smell the pumpkin spice. It does smell like pumpkin spice, but you know what it smells like more than that? If you go to the grocery store and they have those cinnamon brooms, that's what this smells like. Very, very cinnamon. Cinnamon forward, not a lot of pumpkin spice, which I would say is, you know, nutmeg and all those other things. Okay, this is familiar too. This smells to me like sugared plum, which I did order because I like the Yankee Candle Christmas Eve candle and that's sugared plum and that's what this is. So um, it doesn't smell exactly like the Yankee Candle one, but it's nice. It's definitely, I'll make a tester out of it. I don't think I'll use it in my line, but I like it. It's nice. Okay, this is lemon pound cake for sure. So I picked this out because my um, my mother-in-law, who we lost last year, um, I'm just trying to make kind of olfactory uh, comfort memories of her. And she used to like the um, Italian lemon Jeanette cookies and um, I would make them for her sometime. And so in, of the holidays, I was like, you know, it doesn't have to be pine and cinnamon and pumpkin and whatnot. You know, you can 
you can tap into your own memories and um, what makes you feel good. So um, lemon pound cake, and that's that smells very much like the cookies. And so here's an example. Um, so I got a sample from somewhere, uh, the Flaming Candle, and it was uh, mocha mint. And again, it's supposed to smell like coffee and chocolate and mint. To me, it smells just like, I had a Richard Scarry book when I was little and it was called The Sweet Smells of Christmas. It was one of my favorite books. And um, it, in the book, the mom, mama bear made some Christmas cookies and they were chocolate and mint. And that is exactly what this smells like. So, um, it smelled like chocolate mint cookies to me. There's no coffee in it. But what I'm saying is, use your imagination. If a scent speaks to you, um, you know, and triggers a positive memory, then, um, you know, go for it. Just make a tester out of it. See, see what happens, you know, mix it with some stuff. Okay. This is Christmassy. It smells like, um, maybe like a wreath, like Yankee Candles wreath, something wreath, holiday wreath or balsam wreath or whatever. Something Christmas. Oh, hillbilly mistletoe. Okay, so this smells really good. Um, they said on Aztec Candle Supply, don't let the name fool you. And yeah, it, it doesn't smell like, you know, whatever. I won't go into my sarcasm. This smells like buttercream frosting. And maybe a little tinge of something. Oh, Autumn Delight. Maybe a little, a little pumpkin. I'm not really sure. Um, it's nice, but it doesn't smell like Autumn to me. All right, bag number two. All right, um, I don't know what this is, obviously, but you know what it smells like? When you were a kid, I'm 45, so I don't know how old you guys are, but there used to be this little like metal tube of like goo, and you would take this little straw and you'd put a wad of this goo on the end of the straw and then blow through it and it would make this bubble. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. I'll insert a picture here. Um, that's what this smells like. But it also smells vanilla, like like a French vanilla. Oh God. And I have to wear an N95 at work because I'm a nurse and I'm gonna end up trapping whatever I just got on my nose inside my mask, so that's great. And it's not my favorite. Black strap molasses. I was really hoping that this would smell like black strap molasses. No, that doesn't smell like that at all. That's not what that smells like. Not even a little bit. It smells like that goo you put on a straw and make a bubble out of. Christmas. This is one of those sharp Christmas smells that's very, um... okay, hang on a second. It smells like pine but it also smells like, I was gonna say pine needles, no shit. Um, the woods, it just smells like the woods. But I don't know what that other smell is because I don't know, you know, we know what pine trees smell like and like leaves and stuff, but I don't know specifically what the thing is. I feel like it's like ferns and like moss and stuff. I think I'm gonna try this out, whatever it is. Christmas tree farm, okay. And I agree, but it's not what you think. I am gonna make a tester out of it though, but it's not that scent that you think that it's gonna be. Oh, I almost looked at the label. Again, it smells like vanilla. 
I gotta like clean my, my brain or something so that I'm at scratch. I'm at scratch. So that I'm at scratch. Okay. So this is also black strap molasses. So they must have sent me a sample of it and I ordered it, which is kind of stupid. But here's the other thing. Never mind. I was gonna go on a tangent, nobody cares. I was going on a tangent the other night about um, ordering through a drive-thru. Nobody cares. Or maybe you do. This smells like something I already smelled too. Okay, Hillbilly Mistletoe. So I either ordered twice or um, I think I did duplicates like a couple times because I'm stupid. So. Okay, I think this is Cody, Cozy Cabin, yeah. So Cozy Cabin, I, after I per placed this order, I really decided I liked it and so I ordered the pound. But it is... It has got to be one of my favorite oils. Um, it's got cedar, cardamom, sandalwood. The sandalwood's not very heavy, but I just love it. It's it's such a great scent. And I don't even think there's a category for it. I mean, because when you think of woods and like woody candles, it's that's not what it is. Okay, let's see what this is. I hope this isn't something we've already smelled. And again, we've got that thing. And I think it is. I think this is sugar plum again. Nope, mulberry which I've tried before and I um, I had a sample of it and I mean, it's fine. I'm gonna mix it with something. I might actually mix it with um, maybe Autumn Delight or Hillbilly Mistletoe or I don't know, we'll see. But anyways, um, I gotta make sure that I'm paying attention to the time. Um, so one thing that I am doing right now is making a lot of test candles. So I have, you know, some this size. I have, um, I actually went to the dollar store and got these for a dollar. They had, obviously at the dollar store, I have to clean it up a little bit, but so these were a dollar and they had black on the inside. But of course, when you buy them, you're like, oh, it's a black candle holder. And I was like, meh. So I washed them all out because the girl who rang me out had her mask hanging down and was like snarfing all over the place and all over her hands and then touching my stuff and wrapping it. And so I'm like, can't wait to get home, wash this. And so as I was soaking them all, like the black paint came off and I'm, I'm not angry about it. So there's that one. And then there's this one and they're pretty good. They're, they're pretty heavy. Um, they're pretty heavy duty. And then I also got the, this at the dollar store. And so, and this is like a Libby jar, which I was gonna order anyways, except for the shipping was like really expensive. Um, I've also tried the, the little canning jars. I don't think I'm gonna go with the tins um, because I think they get hot. And so I'm nervous about that. So I have some that I'm test burning. I have two when I go to work, I'm gonna see, have some, you know, whoever's working can decide they can fight over the two candles that I'm bringing in today because I just want people to try them out and give me their feedback. So that's what I have today. Um, I hope that this was helpful if you're looking for, you know, feedback on some of these oils, but Aztec Candle Supply and the Flaming Candle are the two places that I get my oil from. Um, and um, I'll be back soon with some more. Thanks, bye.